to the tail of the tape, sponsored by Budweiser. No doubt that these two guys are heavyweights. Derek Lewis, 262 pounds, while Travis Brown, the ninth-ranked heavyweight in the world, will hold a three-and-a-half-inch height advantage. For the official introductions, we send it into the octagon at Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live on Fox Sports 1 Worldwide from the Scotiabank Center here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is the main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled in the UFC heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the Nova Scotia Combat Sports Authority, Chairperson Mickey McDonald. Your three judges scoring at Octagon side, Ian Bridgman. Sal D'Amato and Craig Smith. And when the action begins inside the octagon, referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready and the fighters are ready. The world is ready. Canada, make some noise if you are Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. His background's in Muay Thai and wrestling. At six feet, six and a half inches tall, he weighed officially 241 pounds. In 24 professional bouts, his record stands at 18 victories, five defeats, and one draw. Fighting out of San Diego, California, by way of Honolulu, Hawaii, USA. Here is the number nine UFC heavyweight contender, Travis Hopper Brown! And next is opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner. He is a brawler, standing six feet, three inches tall. He weighed it officially 262 pounds and brings a record that stands at 17 victories, four defeats, and one no contest. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, by way of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. Here is the number eight UFC heavyweight contender of the world, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. All right, I'm going to introduce the rules to the locker room. I want you guys to do a clean fight, follow my orders at all times, defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves, and let's do this. Will it come down to heart, will, and desire, or will it come down to who lands the big bomb first? We're about to find out. Here you go, first round. You ready? You ready? Let's do this. Come on. Brown in the black trunks. Lewis in the blue. Comes out throwing a right hand straight away. Immediately, you see a more narrow stance from Travis Brown. His last couple of fights, you've seen a very wide stance, which limits your ability to kick and have lateral movement. Here, Travis Brown feet narrow and already launching leg kicks. When you watch the Roy Nelson fight with Derek Lewis, Roy Nelson landed a couple leg kicks and caused Derek Lewis to switch his stances. And those long legs of Brown certainly pack quite a punch. Lewis can't afford to absorb those all night. But if you don't want to eat the big right hand of Derek Lewis, you've got to be mobile. You've got to be cutting angles. You don't want to stand in front of him. How about Lewis throwing a kick of his own? Yeah, he's gotten much better with that. You know, I referenced the Roy Nelson fight. When you watch that one, that's one of the evident pieces, too, is Lewis integrating his kicks better. He attacked the body very well in that fight. But right now, this is where Travis Brown wants to be. Center of the octagon, keeping Lewis back to the fence, limiting his mobility. Derek Lewis, a massive, massive guy. Not a whole lot of heavyweights that cut weight to be a heavyweight. Derek Lewis, one of the few. Many thought perhaps Brown would try and take Lewis down, but you didn't necessarily agree that's the play, and it looks like maybe Lewis hurt his hand or it's a body shot. I think he may hurt him in the body. Oh yeah, he's holding on to his stomach. But Brown still being tentative. He knows Lewis packs a punch. And he's being smart here. And going back to the body with that front kick. Same front kick we saw knock out Alistair Overeem. When you get hit to the body like that, man, sometimes there's a delayed pain there. It... And now Brown has a target. And you can see Lewis bending over in pain. 
That's a tough kick to eat, but it's right there on the belly button. That hurts folks at home, and Brown doing a really nice job digging the ball to his feet right to the gut of Derrick Lewis. And now another low kick. So far, the strategy of Brown's working to perfection. Kick, kick, and kick some more. And Derrick Lewis having a really hard time getting inside. I tell you, what's gonna come next are gonna be the high kicks from Travis Brown. Now the hands are low. I don't know why Derrick Lewis tried that, but maybe just to get his back up the fence, but he missed an opportunity to get the center of the octagon. Well, Lewis said his favorite strike is the high kick. I think he was being sarcastic. <laughs> well, he's thrown a couple tonight. Ooh, and it's right hand. Right. And all of a sudden, it's Brown who's in trouble, but Royal down. You gotta be careful. You can't go to the well too many times with what I like to call naked leg kicks. Set him up with punches. And now Derek Brown going hunting. He landed another right. And then another body oh. shot as Lewis covers up. Excuse me, Derek Lewis. Where those body shots are taking a toll on Derek Lewis. But Brown can't get rolled into a false sense of security. We saw it just moments ago as Lewis leveled it. No, and it doesn't matter who you fight in this heavyweight division. You can't. And, and look, Travis Brown's learned that lesson the hard way before. We got to fly, baby. Let's go. And he's fought big men in the octagon before. The guys like this, you know, Bigfoot Silver, the only guy to beat Travis Brown who wasn't a champion, but a big guy. You just, you can't take that power for granted. Not the start Lewis was hoping for, although he did have that moment, but Brown handled it as well as he could. And again with the leg kicks. And Derek Lewis has shown a tendency in his fights not to address leg kicks, not to check them, not to block them. And right now he's not countering effectively outside of that one that caused Travis Brown to roll backwards. Lewis has admitted that cardio is not one of his strengths, but promises he's in the best shape of his career heading into this one. Cardio was a big focus. He wanted to be able to push the pace in this fight better than he did in his last fight against Shamil Abdurahimov. But he has got to start blocking these kicks or countering them effectively, and that will limit the amount Travis Brown throws him. You can hear the corner of Derek Lewis. They want him moving forward more. As long as he sits on the outside here. And again, it's Lewis trying that spectacular offense, but he's just achieving the ordinary with those kicks. But that right hand snuck in there. This is what he needs to stick to. Let's listen in to Derek Lewis's corner right now. All right, sit down. Let's breathe. Okay, let's breathe. Body, but he's gonna fake and go upstairs. Okay. Hands need to stay high. Are you hurt? Are you bad? Okay. All right. So, every time you're touching him, you're hurting him. You're staying in kicking range. I need you inside of that kicking range, okay? Let's get in his face and let's go. I need you checking that kick and countering right hand, okay? The, the takedown will be there after that. I need you staying off the damn fence, man. Forward movement. Stay off the fence. He's gonna keep attacking the belly. Every time you're touching him, you're hurting him. Let, let that 45 degree angle here and look for the way he was there. He's gonna throw the kick to the right hand on this. Take a look at the action here. You hear him say, get out of kick range. This is kick range right here. And that's where Travis Brown wants to keep him. But there, beautiful knee to the body hurts Derek Lewis. And again, Travis go, Brown go. continuing to attack that area. There goes your muffins. All right, second round, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this, come on. Lewis, a blue-collar fighter, a former Triple-A truck driver, says his biggest strength is his heart. Gonna have to display some of that here in this fight. A good opening round for Travis Brown. And no surprise, Travis Brown going right back to the body with that front kick. Boy, Brown loaded up and teed off with that kick. See, if you look at the right ankle of Travis Brown, there's a big swelling there. Still stepping on a fine, not walking gingerly. That happens a lot of times when you kick someone, 
and you catch the point of their elbow while you're trying to kick to the body. She's coming. Off the fence. But this is exactly what Derek Lewis Corner said. Get your back off the fence. They gave him perfect advice. Forward pressure. Counter these kicks. Block these kicks. Get your hands up. Because Travis Brown's going to start coming high as he did right there. And this is the range that Lewis oh. wants to be in. And this is all it takes for him. And Brown's hurt. He's covering up. He's scrambling. Get out of there, Travis. And Lewis needs to go to the body here. Brown, the Ooh. big body. Left hand, you name it, it's landed. Brown, very smart there, actually looked at Mario Yamasaki, said, hey, I'm fine, to make sure he didn't stop this fight. But he's got to get his back off the fence here. He's not fine. Trying to push him away. Travis looking down, stumbling around now. He could be letting Lewis punch himself out here. Tie clinch. And good job. Travis Brown baited him to get him double underhooks here. Let's see if he can convert. Oh, uh -oh. this is not where you want to be, folks. It's panic time now as Lewis nearly in full mount. And Derek Lewis is looking for that Melendez Sanchez type of war. Not the same kind of fight, but he's battling back into this fight now here in round two as he throws Travis Brown to the ground again. I've said it many times, people underestimate this guy's ground skills. And don't forget, that's 262 pounds of behemothness all over your body. Hey, here. Now, he's not 262 right now. This dude gets up to 280 after he cuts the weight. He's finished a lot of guys on the ground, to include his last opponent, Shamil Abdurahimov. Round two has been a disaster for Travis Brown, and it may get worse. Right hands from Lewis. Good job by Brown to belly down. Let's see if he can get up and fight the wrist and the hands, and he gets up easily. Great job by Brown. He's showing us some heart tonight. He's going to go right back to that body now. Oh, and oh the right hand sends Brown down again and possibly out. Gets in this flurry, lands a nice left hook that dropped him and then started to pour it on. And this is the part where Travis Brown lets Mario Yamasaki know, hey, I'm okay, don't stop the fight. But here, comes over the top, catches him right on the crown with that right hand. Beautiful counter by Derek Lewis. And, and here, honestly, I think this is a late, late stoppage. This fight should be stopped right here. He is no longer intelligently defending himself. You gotta jump in and stop that fight. He does not need to put him to sleep here. Regardless, a huge comfort oh. behind win for Derek Lewis. Brown still seated right now on the canvas. So too is Lewis though, both men exhausted. But the Black Beast, things did not look good in round one, but they couldn't have looked any better in round two. What do you think will be the best move of the night? Tweet and let us know at hashtag MetroMood. And tune into the FS1 UFC Fight Night post fight show after the fights for the winning move. Welcome back to Halifax, Canada. Derek Lewis with his 18th win, 16th knockout for the official particulars back inside the octagon to Joe Martinez.
Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Three minutes, 12 seconds, round number two. We have your winner by KO victory, the Black.